Hi everyone, Colin here and welcome back. Can tropical fish just acclimate to your local water? Um, possibly yes, um, but probably that's the wrong way to look at it. Um, the tropical fish that we keep may come from local breeders in your local city or they may be wild caught from halfway across the world and you will need to find out what it is that they want with their water that will help them to survive in your aquarium. We know that the local water is not the same as what you would have in a tropical rainforest jungle. It's a lot, lot cleaner. Um, we know that these tropical jungle rivers are absolutely teeming with microscopic life, lots of organic um, juices from the leaves and the wood of the trees, and that's nothing like the water that we have in our town or city water supply. And in very many ways, our tap water will never be the same as tropical jungle rainforest water. In fact, it's been sterilised. So our tap water in most towns and cities around the world certainly has been sterilised, probably with chlorine or chloramine, and how far away you are from that source of your water depends on how strong that uh, toxic chlorine or chloramine is going to be. The water supply itself, well, where you live will determine just what that water is like chemically. And all around the world, it is totally, totally different. So it's very hard to say that tropical fish will just acclimatise to your local water. Here's a few examples of some of the water that you have. And they're all very different. Um, at the most extreme, if we look at water, we look at water that's actually distilled. It is the purest form of water you can have. Is it the best? Well, it's certainly very, very clean, but clean, pure, sterile water is terrible for aquariums. Um, just about nothing could live in it. Um, you know, mountain spring drinking water ain't that good for fish. It's clean, not very good, not very healthy. Um, there's an impression that clean must be healthy, but with aquariums, it's actually often the other way. It's that once the water has some things inside it, it becomes suitable for life. And tropical rainforest jungles, where most of these fish originate, is teeming with life because it's teeming with stuff in the water, whether it be the juices of leaves and wood. And as we go across to other kinds of water, there's various minerals that are dissolved from the water, uh, minerals that increase the hardness of the water. But depending on where you come from, the water can be going through all different kinds of rocks, all different kinds of minerals, and they do different things to the water. The water behaves differently chemically depending on what's dissolved in it. And usually when you look at clear water, there's no way you can tell what's dissolved in it. And that's why we have water tests. The water tests will tell us what is the makeup of that water. And looking at seawater, well, how many freshwater fish can live in that? None. So what's dissolved in the water plays a big part in how successful we are keeping our aquariums. We need to know what is in our local water. And then from finding out what's in local water, we know then what to do next. So look forward to talking more about that. Thanks for watching. Hope your tanks are going well.